Uh, the fire is under investigation. We believe we have the fire out at this time. Uh, it appears that the fire started on the first floor, so that's where we're going to be starting. Uh, nobody got hurt. There was nobody at home at the time of the fire, as it's been reported to us thus far. And that's obviously always the key, everybody out safe. If there are occupants and then if they're not, keeping everybody away until you determine exactly what's going on and the magnitude and, of course, if it's still underway, right? That's correct. Yep. The homeowner, he actually arrived just shortly after we did. We were able to account for our, all the residents in the house. Uh, so that portion of it was uh, determined very early on that there was nobody in the house. Chief uh, the fire crews did do a search of the house just to make sure that there was nobody in there and they did not find any occupants inside the house at the time of the fire. Chief Coon, we've covered enough fires here and you guys do such great work and we want to thank you, you know, as a news organization, as a community. I'm sure everybody echoes that. You guys see the gamut of emotions with fires when people come up. You have to explain what's happening as they may see their life going up in the air. How do you approach that and what are some of the reactions that you have? Uh, sometimes it depends on the situation and what's going on. Uh, a lot of what drives people to be emotional at this particular point in their life is uh, it's the fear of the unknown. They're not certain what the extent of damage was, if everybody's been accounted for. So we try to reassure them the best that we can that we're doing the best job that we can do to try to protect their lives and protect their property. Yeah, we're a lucky city to have you. Thank you very much, uh, Chief Goon.